Hello friends, welcome to agriculture video series. This video is on cell division. Coming to cell division. The cell cycle is sequence of events or changes that occur between the formation of cell and its division into daughter cells. It has a non-dividing growing phase called interphase and dividing phase called mitotic or M phase. Here you can clearly see the 75% of area is contributed for interphase and only 25% is contributed for M phase. That means majority of the functions are completed by a cell in interphase rather than M phase. But M phase is very essential. How is it? We'll see here. Interphase. Inter means between, phase means aspect. It's a long metabolically active phase between two successive mitotic cell division. It has three substances G1, S and G2 phase. G1 phase is post mitotic phase. The cell separates for DNA, RNA and protein synthesis. S phase is a synthetic phase. The duplication or replication of DNA and centriole takes place here. G2 phase is post mitotic phase. Here, synthesis of proteins required for synthesis of spindle fibers. M phase, mitotic phase is short phase, includes two processes like karyokinesis that is division of nucleus and cytokinesis that is division of cytoplasm resulting into two daughter cells. After M phase, the cell may enter either interphase to repeat the cell cycle or G0 phase to arrest cell cycle. Then the cells in G0 phase may grow and differentiate into different cell types to perform different functions. In the tissue cultures, three functions are very important like differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation. All the three processes are associated and oscillate between G0 and G1 phases. Mitosis or uh, the M phase is further divided into mitosis and meiosis. Mitosis was uh, the means mitos means thread and uh, osis means stage. Walter Fleming in 1882 studied mitotic cell division in animal cells and coined the term mitosis. This is a type of division in which parental cell produce two similar daughter cells that resemble the parental cell in terms of chromosomal number. It is also called equational division or homotypic cell division. Maintains constant number of chromosomes in each cell on of successive generation. It occurs in somatic cells of the body so it is also called somatic cell division. Mitosis occurs in two stages, one is karyokinesis and another is cytokinesis. Significance of mitosis It maintains genetic stability within the population of cells deri derived from same parental cell, helps in growth and tissue repair, helps in the replacement of dead and warm out cells, means of reproduction in lower organisms. Metaphase Asters are not found in plant cell as they do not have centrioles, hence called anestal cell division. Metaphase In mitosis, meta means after phase is appearance. Here spindle fibers are completely formed. The chromosome becomes a short and thick with the two distinct chromatids each. All the chromosomes move towards the center of the cell and arrange in the equatorial plane right angle to the position of esters to form metacentric or metaphasic plate. Chromosomes are scattered to spindle fiber at their centromeres. Anaphase The centromere of all the chromosomes undergo longitudinal splitting and the chromatids of each chromosome separate to form daughter chromosomes. These move towards the opposite pole forming equator by the activity of spindle fibers. Telophase. The daughter chromosomes reach the opposite poles. Chromosomes undergo desparalization to form a long thin thread-like structure called chromatin. Nucleolus and nuclear membrane reappears. This spindle fiber disappears. 
cytokinesis cytomen cell kinesis is movement it is the division of cytoplasm cleavage furrow develop in the middle of the cell in centripetal direction due to the contraction of microtubules it occur till the edge of the plasma membrane meets they fuse to form a separate membrane in plant cells cytokinesis occurs due to the formation of phragmoplast in centrifugal direction the phragmoplast is formed by golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum and pectin containing vacuoles this is the pictorial representation of mitosis and different forms interphase which is the biggest phase followed by early mitotic prophase where spindle where the chromosomes are thread like and not clearly visible in the late mitotic prophase they are clearly visible and pairing takes place in mitotic metaphase the they will come to the equatorial plate in anaphase they will move toward the opposite poles and in telophase the two poles are clearly visible where the chromosomes will go and settle there here the clear division is shown in snapshot of mitosis in the cell with two chromosomes meiosis term coined by farmer and more in 1905 a type of cell division in which daughter cells receive only half of the original set of chromosomes of the parental cell called reductional division mendel's first and second law, uh, law both operate in meiosis they occur in only in germinal cells found in male gonads or testes female gonad ovary and in spore mother cells of plants the reproductive cells have diploid number of chromosomes they are a haploid parental set and a haploid maternal set paternal and maternal sets reproductive cells have to undergo meiotic division to produce the gametes containing haploid number of chromosomes the haploid male gametes or sperms fertilized with the haploid female gamete ovum to produce a diploid zygote which develops into an individual having diploid number of chromosomes in which cell each cell of the body thus being helped to maintain the constant number of chromosomes for a particular species meiosis takes place in two successive stages that is meiosis 1 and 2 interphase 1 during interphase duplication of dna centrioles and synthesis of rna and protein takes place meiosis 1 it is reductional division in which diploid parental cell produces two haploid daughter cells hence called reductional division includes the stages karyokinesis where division of nucleus takes place in the stages like prophase 1 which is the longest phase of meiosis has sub five stages leptotin zygotin pectin diploptin diakinesis are the five stages of this first one is leptotin also called as bucket stage the chromatin condenses to form chromosomes in this stage chromosomes appear as long thin thread like structure undergo coiling and becomes short and thick here each chromosome has two chromatids that are not distinctly visible each chromosome shows bead like structure called chromomeres the telomeric ends of all the chromosomes converge towards one side of the nuclear membrane therefore they appear horse shoe shaped this stage is bucket stage centrioles form into asters and keep moving towards opposite poles spindle apparatus begin to appear zygotin this is zipper stage pairing of homologous chromosomes takes place called synopsis the pair is called bivalent chromosome continues to undergo condensation and asters keep moving towards opposite poles synopsis is pairing of the homologous chromosomes bivalent a paired unit formed of homologous chromosomes consisting of a parental and maternal chromosome pachytin that is tetrad stage 
the chromosomes become more short and thick at packeting stage each bivalent show four chromatids called tetrads in this stage exchange of genetic material takes place between the non sister chromatids of homologous chromosome the process called genetic crossing over results in genetic recombination which is responsible for variation the region at which the crossing over occurs is called chiasmata this is the evidence for mendel's first as well as second uh, law tetrad formation tetrad means each homologous chromosome pair or bivalent shows four chromatids called tetrad crossing over means exchange of identical parts between the non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes Chiasma is the region on homologous chromosomes at which crossing over occurs it is a visible expression of crossing over the chiasma move towards the tip of the chromosomes as the homologous chromosome of bivalent starts moving apart that is called terminalization or chiasma terminalization the fourth one is diakinesis in prophase 1 the chromosomes at this stage appear thick short and distinct diplotin comes before this stage the tips of some chromosomes show chiasmata nucleolus and nuclear membrane disappear and chromosomes set free in the cytoplasm metaphase 1 after diakinesis metaphase 1 will appear here chromosomes are arranged in the equatorial region in their centromeres towards the poles and arms towards the equator at anaphase centromeres do not undergo longitudinal splitting the chromosome of each homologous pair move towards opposite pole by the activity of spindle fibers this is called separation or disjunction of chromosomes telophase 1 homologous chromosomes separate and reach the opposite pole nuclear membrane reappears around the chromosome set each pole spindle fiber disappear and cytokinesis may or may not occur cytokinesis 1 this is the division of cytoplasm cleavage furrow develop in the middle of the cell in centripetal direction due to contra contraction of microtubules it occur till the edge of the plasma membrane meet the fuse to form separate membrane may or may not occur at the end of meiosis 1 interkinesis metaphase after the first meiotic division is interkinesis it may be present or absent between meiosis 1 and 2 if present it may be short or in some cases telophase 1 directly enters the prophase 2 it is similar to interphase except for the absence of replication of dna the next one is meiosis 2 it occurs soon after meiosis 1 there is no duplication of chromosomes events recognized under four stages of uh, convenience prophase 2 metaphase 2 anaphase 2 and telophase 2 karyokinesis 2 this it is division of nucleus include prophase 2 means chromosome sharp start condensing again spindle apparatus begin to appear nuclear envelope and nucleolus disintegrate and disappear in metaphase 2 chromosomes arrange in the equatorial region at right angle to the asters spindle fiber connect to the centromere at anaphase 2 centromeres of all the chromosomes undergo longitudinal splitting chromatids of each chromosome separate and they move towards the opposite pole in telophase 2 chromosome arrange at the pole and undergo condensation to become thin and large chromatin fiber nuclear envelope is formed nucleolus appear spindle fibers disappear cytokinesis 2 it is the division of cytoplasm cleavage furrow develop in the middle of the cell in centripetal direction due to contraction of uh, microtubules occur still the edge of the plasma membrane meets fuse to form separate membrane here is a pictorial representation of uh, meiotic different stages this is the complete representation of meiosis 1 as well as meiosis 2 
where the bivalve and tetrad formation and all those takes place as well as chromosome and chromatid division takes place in respected stages this is uh, an example showing meiosis with the help of two chromosomes division how it takes place coming to significance of meiosis helps to restore diploidy and maintain the contract constant number of chromosomes for a species meiosis produce new combination of chromosomes and genes by crossing over and by random distribution of parental and maternal chromosomes to daughter cells these two events result in variation which are the food for speciation thank you i hope you liked my video do not forget to subscribe 